For the first time since 1979, parts of the United States will get a glimpse of a total solar eclipse. Walter Cronkite was on the anchor desk of the CBS Evening News the last time the rare celestial event moved its way across the country. Watch Cronkite's original report the way it was when he delivered it 38 years ago on February 26, 1979. The CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. For parts of North America, the sun went out today. For a little under three minutes, the forces of darkness ruled in daylight as a great swath of shadow up to 190 miles wide cut across the continent from the coast of Oregon to Greenland. It was the last total eclipse of the sun for North America until the year 2017. Thousands of scientists and amateur viewers saw stars and the planets Mars, Venus, and Mercury briefly dominate the daytime sky. There's been a good deal said in recent days about the ways ancients responded to an eclipse, but as Eric Engberg and Terry Drinkwater report, modern man still hasn't lost his sense of wonder. The moon's movement across our line of sight to the sun, just beginning here, gives the impression that a bite has been taken out of the solar disk. These pictures of the eclipse were taken from a specially equipped Air Force research plane carrying scientists and photo equipment. Cameras on board, fitted with extremely dense filters over their lenses, photograph the disappearance of the sun behind the moon from a point over North Dakota near the Canadian border. Not everything about the eclipse was predictable. The old story is that roosters sleep during an eclipse and crow when the sun reemerges. Well, as part of its eclipse coverage today, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation hired a rooster and a prayer plant. The rooster crowed during the Pressure eclipse, but failed to greet the sun's reappearance, and the prayer plant never did close up, indicating it might have needed a talking to. High tides tugged by the eclipse hit the upper Atlantic coast today, forcing out residents in a low-lying areas, or low-lying areas throughout New Jersey and Massachusetts, Persistent rain over the weekend, combined with last week's snow, to push the Potomac River at or near the flood stage from West Virginia to the District of Columbia. It was hard to tell some roads from rivers. At least one school district was shut down, and there were widespread reports of minor flooding. Yet more snow hit parts of the Midwest, blanketing sections of Missouri, southern Illinois, and Arkansas, where there was called the worst snowstorm in 60 years. The upcoming eclipse will be another variable meteorologists will have to take into account while creating a forecast. And coming up, I'll show you how the August 21st solar eclipse will affect the weather here in central Illinois. But for now, we're going to focus on our current forecast.